Hey guys, Pablo with BND and today at top reddit post we're gonna be looking at Petty Revenge. But before that, just to let you guys know, I was asked by a few people to actually remove the music from the videos. So I want to know your opinion. Better with music, better without music. Just leave in the comments below. Alright, so for us to start, let's look at You can pick it up at the police station. No, not that police station. About five years ago, I saw someone lose their smartphone in real time. I was right behind her and saw it fly off the top of her car on a busy one-lane highway. It was a little dangerous, but I pulled over, waited for a break in traffic, and darted out to grab the phone. It was miraculously unharmed. Her background pic showed a twinish redhead and a boyfriend who looked like a shittier version of Fazy Banks. I kept driving around doing my errands until her phone rang about 30 minutes later. I told her where the phone had flown off the roof, how I retrieved it, and mentioned she must have put it up there while getting gas or something. Her response? Okay, could you bring it here to me in my town 40 minutes away, please? I work at this pizza joint. Um, that's nowhere near me. I'm in my town. You can pick it up here. I'll meet you at the Dunkin' Donuts. <sighs> I can't drive all the way to your town. I don't know your town. Let's meet halfway at this popular restaurant. That's not even remotely halfway. This popular restaurant's still in your town. Want to just pick it up later? I don't have time for this. And puts the boyfriend on the phone. Dude, what's your freaking problem? Give her back her phone already. This went on for a few minutes, boyfriend getting tougher and tougher. I have zero balance for shitty behavior. So I hung up on them and shut off the phone. I was going to visit my grandparents the next day. So I kept the phone on me until then. When I got to granddad's town two hours away, I turned the phone on called the girl's father and told him everything. He was very apologetic and I'm guessing it wasn't his first rodeo. I told him due to her rudeness and boyfriend's thinly veiled threats, the phone could be now picked up at the local police station in my granddad's hometown. Dad's response? Looks like she'll have a three hour drive both ways this weekend. Sorry again. Ah. Uh, Tell you guys, not easy to be nice to people. A little surprise for an aggressively impatient next in line. A few years back, I went into the restaurant at a restaurant. I had barely locked the door when someone began knocking. I announced it was occupied. After a few moments, however, he knocked again and tried the doorknob. Thinking he hadn't heard me the first time, I spoke louder so he could hear someone who was inside. Well, he continued obnoxiously knocking and vigorously attempting to open the door for several minutes. Thinking he was just going to break the door down, I decided to get out quicker than I wanted. But not before I took the only roll of toilet paper with me. As I walked out, he gave me an angry look, as if it was his right to use the restroom at his convenience. Our table happened to have a direct line sight into the restroom, so I kept glancing over to see him exit. However, it took an exceptionally long time, so I had pretty much forgot about it. I noticed when he eventually emerged, he awkwardly walked over to the another table, grabbed some napkins, and ran back to the bathroom. In the meantime, someone else walked into the bathroom and he had to stand there waiting. Knocked only once or twice this time. Eventually, the other guest exited, and he ran back in, so I guess to complete the process. Co-worker said something horrible after friend co-worker dies, so I slowly drive her to quit. Six years ago, working shitty job, friends with everyone except this older woman, O.W., who would make snide comments, called me and my friends, young snotty bitches. YSB, and I'm pretty sure broke into my phone when I left it on the company vehicle once. Our supervisor, S, 
was awesome and hated her just as much as we did, but had to be professional. She was also romantically involved with her boss, B. As a result of pre-existing medical condition, she passed away in the middle of the night. Supervisor was like a mentor and a second mother, and I took her death really hard. So when I heard that O.W. was spreading rumors, it was B's fault that S died, it obviously wasn't. No one believed her, but I was furious she would be so nasty to be so soon after the funeral, and decided I was sick of her shit and her drama. So, when the other YSBs and I started to secretly drive her crazy, if she would talk, we would pretend we couldn't hear, we wouldn't acknowledge she existed, we wouldn't talk about anything other than work when we had to talk to her. She was bad at her job, and before, we just put up with it. But now, we're as condescending and belittling as you could be without being outright rude. So when she complained about us to be, he wouldn't have to reprimand us. Everything she used to say we were, we made a reality. And she couldn't say shit, because we smiled and had a polite tone. I. I know how hard it is to remember, but you just have to make sure that when you do A, that you do 1, 2, 3 first. Less than a week after S funeral, OW walked off the job without a word to anyone. Edit. Almost forgot the best part. We had a company carpool, and the morning after she walked off the job, we didn't know she quit yet and thought she just left in a huff. Boss didn't bother calling to check up on her. Show up to pick her and she isn't coming out. So I call her and she starts out all angry. I quit because of you bitches. I cut her off and said, okay, sounds good, have a good day. In my best customer service voice and hung up. Screw her. Hey man, we all have bad co-workers, but you know what? The best thing is when you get them to the point that doesn't matter how mean you are to them, they still gotta have to thank you. If my girlfriend lets you in front of her in the bathroom line, be grateful. My girlfriend and I have about an hour and a half layover. We get off our first flight and she needed to use the bathroom, so she went in while I watch her bags. I see this lady that has two kids in those harnesses, keeping them close by. She yanking them and yelling at them for dropping their toys and hustles them to the bathroom. My girlfriend comes out and we get some food while waiting for our flight in an hour. We get on the plane and I fall asleep and wake up a few hours later to us landing. My girlfriend nudges me and points out that the lady I saw earlier with the kids was also in our flight. My girlfriend then says that when she went into the bathroom, she was loudly complaining about how she was going to be late and didn't have time for a line. My girlfriend says she could go in front of her and the lady moves in front of her and says, Well, there is still all these other people in front of you. She was on our flight, which wasn't for another hour, and she was just trying to cut in front of people. On top of that, she wasn't even grateful when someone let her in front. And I personally never like people that have their kids on leashes. I was joking around with my girlfriend how we should give the kids candy or something to get back at the lady. I was kidding, but I was still keeping my eyes open for some sort of petty revenge. It presents itself to me when I'm waiting for my girlfriend to use the bathroom and I see the lady shuffle to me, dragging her kids along. I'm in a rush. Which way to bagage claim? Uh, if you read the sign above you, you'd see it's that way. I believe it's that way. I point the other direction and watch her wander off in the other direction. My girlfriend yelled at me when I told her, but she was still smiling. Added, after the comments about how important baby harnesses are, I understand how they can be important. I think about it before I judge next time. Lady cuts me in line for the subway. I make her miss her exit. So this happened two to three years ago. I was taking the subway with my mom. 
We're waiting in line for the train to arrive, and when it did, this lady comes out of nowhere and cuts me while going in. Almost pushed me out of her way. My mom and I, being first in line with several people behind us, seemed to frown upon her behavior as well. But no one said anything. The train was packed, and she ended up in the side where the doors don't open, with me essentially blocking her way. A few stops later, she starts trying to push past me, and she's like, Excuse me, could you move? I have to get out. I was still annoyed that she had cut me in line, so I just pretended not to hear her until the doors closed. You made me miss my exit. Oh, you can see me now. How awfully convenient for you that you couldn't see me earlier when you cut me in line and proceeded to ignore her and essentially badmount her to my mom, who played along until our exit. Added, someone gave me silver. Thank you so much, kind stranger. Booby-trapped phone charger. So, lately people have been stealing my phone charger at work from my computer. I really wouldn't mind if they needed it and just put it back afterwards, but no. I always have to go looking for it. I did the standard email the office and tell people not to do it. It still happened. I had my team leader send a similar email. Still happened. One day, I lost my cool and stuck a blue tack into the micro USB of the charger. The next time I came into work, somebody had complained to HR that I destroyed their phone. I explained what happened and showed them the emails and they said it was my property, at my desk, so instead of receiving a warning myself, the charger thief did it. Feels good. Man, I'll tell you. I mean, yeah, some of those petty revenge are kind of mean, but I'll be honest with you. Some people have no respect, and if you can take a little bit of their respect out, you had a good day. And probably a good life. So, I know those are short stories today, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer without music. I also changed the microphone for that reason. I'm actually using my Boya microphone. Um, the other thing, don't forget, I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers. And as I do, I'll be running... Uh, Five gift certificate giveaway of $30 each. And if I get enough revenue from YouTube, I'll also be running a PS4 or Xbox One, whatever the choice of the winner is, on that same giveaway. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great weekend and a great Easter if that's your thing. Take care, guys. Goodbye.